What's up guys, I'm British Fifa and welcome back to my third episode of my career mode. This is the road to the Premier League with Crawley Town. And as you can see, I'm about to just change a few of my players around as some of them are injured, which is kind of annoying as I do end up getting a lot more injuries when I actually start playing the game. I know this is a very long episode for you to actually watch and I'm very sorry about that. But as people were saying to me, they would rather me actually play the games, show the games, like the highlights and goals. So straight away, we're going to jump into the Brentford game and play. This is in the Jonathan or Johnston Paint Trophy on Tuesday, the August the 23rd of 2011, 7.45 kickoff. So I'll quickly just check the teams over, just make sure they're all right. As you can see, my Nobby Solano is on the bench. So that is obviously a great one. I did actually realise after the first... Um, few games and when the transfer market ended that I actually had no man, um, left or right back like so if they get injured or anything so I do have to play my left and right mid there so as you can see we just kick off uh, get a few chances straight away but the goalkeeper obviously holds it so that's quite annoying I am playing on legendary so obviously it's going to be quite hard but then it's all about if you can win they have a penalty somehow here I didn't get how they actually got this I did actually just try to clear the ball and somehow he gave the penalty was really annoyed about that decision but hey it's, something's happened don't they so so obviously the it's saved which is quite annoying again right so they're on the attack one on one this is even more annoying they do actually square it against me. The default freaking squared it. So annoying when they square it against me, especially on Legendary, but hey, it happens. So 1-0 down in the 65th minute. I go on the attack with Hawley, and it doesn't lead to much. Oh, and the goalkeeper makes a quality save. So it, oh, it's, it's, a good, it's quite a good career mode. Oh, and I'm winning there. 1-0 one, one with Hawley in the 68th minute. Time to actually get this winner, or hopefully get this winner, and stay in this Johnson Paint Trophy. So the the quality tackle by my defender. I have I don't really do commentaries on games, so it's going to be quite ah oh, damn I'm losing. So okay, that's two one. Um, so I have to quickly make a change, try and try a few different players out, get that goal. Obviously, I don't want to go out in my first round. So, change a few players. Realise some of my players have no stamina. So, quickly go change the players around. And as you can see, Akpan is coming off. He's a quality player. I did actually get to the Premier League with um, this team. Uh, with Crawley. And then actually deleted my save by accident. So, yeah. So, I thought I'd do the career mode. At, and, yeah. Well, it seems quite good. And, I, and what a goal by Bowman. It was an actual quality goal as you know because you just saw it so yeah um doo -doo 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 -doo. oh what a goal um so i actually do win this game so i'm in to the next round of the johnston paint trophy obviously great although i was losing twice in that game i did save a penalty which was lucky or i would have actually most probably lost it because it wasn't i think it was in the first half they got the penalty so so i go change my team once again find out they've actually got quite good stamina Although Mills is injured still, I think he's injured for about four, three to four months. Obviously not the best, as I haven't got many centre backs. Got more centre backs than I have left and right backs, so obviously that's not that bad. I am going to end up selling my goalkeeper, uh, the one I've actually got in goal at the moment, due to the fact that I get a lot of money from. As you can see there, Mills has got a dislocated shoulder, so it's going to be out for quite a bit of time. Isn't obviously the best for me, but I thought. Okay, so I need to go buy some quick players, and actually, I thought, why not go have a look at some teams like Liverpool and Man City, as I know they've got a decent youth system. Go and search for Man City now, quickly searching, 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 searching. I, I With career mode, I think they've made a huge improvement on last year, but I still think it gets a bit boring. And I think the search filters and buy-in, they need to have some trade offers and stuff like that. You can actually send, like, do exchanges with players. Because I just think it, it gets to the point where you're so bored with just trying to sell your player to then even be able to buy one. It just gets to the point where it's boring as hell. So, as you can see, a few players there. I do actually try go for some of these. Just generally sitting just seeing what players I'm going for loan short short line maybe should have changed that to full season um I didn't actually realize that at this point of the like 
game that I needed some right back and left back. Go straight to the top and then figure out, okay, might as well go for um, Suarez as, well, Dennis Suarez. Many, many of you won't actually have heard of him, but I support City, so I do know most of these players. Um, okay, I didn't actually show my Liverpool transfer there, but I do actually get a Liverpool player. Um, his name is uh, Tom Silver. No, it's something like Silver or something. But yeah, this is actually against Northampton. Northampton? Yeah, something along them lines. Um... The team that has, well, I think this is the team that has Akin Fenwa. Yeah, I think it is. And as you can see, I'm 1-0 up after 27 minutes with Barnett. Quite a good goal. Rounded the goalkeeper, chipped it into the back of the net. Show on the 30th minute, they're on the attack. Nice one-two with the player to the, or the winger. Gutredge to Jacobs. Into the box. And Akin Fenwa scores. Good goal. Rounded off with a nice finish from Akin Fenwa. Over the top ball to their player. My defence deals with it and doesn't seem to have much problem. But then I get a nasty injury to my player, which obviously I didn't really need. But it happens. Um, this is another centre-back. So obviously two centre-backs in the space of a few games doesn't really help me. So uh, in when come January, I am going to have to go buy some more players, which is going to be annoying. I'm going to have to sell some just to even get a tr um, just to get some wage budget, really. So it is quite annoying when you're playing on legendary difficulty on board and on the match difficulty because they do actually seem to injure your players a hell of a lot more than normal. But then this is the fun. This is like the fun bit of this game. And they've scored another beautiful goal with a German. Yeah, he is a very good player. I think I got him on loan. Well, I might have actually got him on free agent. He's he's quite a good player to be honest. With you. I, I was surprised. Some some loan players you get are really good. Some players are really bad. But I found out some of them are really, really good. And this penalty, again, I concede so many penalties using B tackles. And once again, I conceded another one. With only 12 minutes left, he did actually score. Maybe should have read that. But hey, it's 2 all. Jacob scored. 90th minute, one added minute, one added minute. And it looks like I'm not going to get much out of this game at all. Which is quite disappointing, especially considering I'm at home. So, one all, uh, 2 all. Could have most probably done much better, and I'd have actually gone top of the league. As you can see, I've approached a load of people. Uh, they accepted my Suarez deal, which is quite good. So I've gone for a bit of time, which is obviously a plus side. Um, a load rejected, and I see that my Wilson is out for four months. Obviously, one of the worst injuries you could possibly have, considering Mills is out at the same time. So straight away, I go take Bullman off for Suarez. Although, and, well, obviously now you can see that is Suarez's licensed face. No, I'm joking. That's not his licensed face. Never. Um, so, yeah. He's not a bad player. Obviously, he's quite, he's like a 17-year-old, 57 overall. So, they just kind of highlight that he's a new player to my squad. And doesn't really start the best, let's just say. Um, he most probably should have got a penalty for that. But he, I did actually start... Did actually injure his player, so that weren't the best start for Southampton. I think it was dis dislocated shoulder, it looked like, how he was holding it there, or something to do with his arm or something like that. But really, I think this most probably should have been a penalty. It was, it was kind of on the line, so I, th in my opinion, it should have been a penalty, so I got away with that quite luckily. And as you can see, I got another lucky deflection off my goalkeeper, which obviously didn't go in. So they seem to be on the attack all of this heart, all of this game. I know it's against Southampton and I'm Crawley, so it kind of should be beating me, really. I did find it really hard to play against these, and it was quite frustrating because they had so many chances, and obviously, like, they went and scored here. So quite annoyed. 1-0 down after the 64th minute. Didn't really have many chances in this game. So even if I had a chance, I had to take it straight away, or, well, I weren't going to win the game. Um... The career mode's been quite been quite fun to do so far, so I'm enjoying doing it at the moment. Obviously, I'm getting a load of chances, and I do actually equalise with a German again. As you can see, he's scoring a hell of a lot for me. Okay, he's only scored two goals in this episode, but hey, you know. So, I kind of mostly should have kept on running with him and passed it, but yeah, they seem to dominate me, get past me, and a penalty again. So, this is mostly the third penalty this episode in three games is quite bad for me don't normally concede this many and with on the 96th minute it weren't really the best I read so well 
well, it weren't really well. He kind of showed me where he was going. He was just running up so stupidly to show me where he was going. So that was quite good. Um, yes, now they're on the attack. And the defence was absolutely useless. One on one. And he misses. Okay, I thought that went in. But hey, so 114th minute. And they're on the attack once again, as I've been saying the whole stupid episode, because this is all that seems to happen in this game for me. And what a block by my defender there. With only one minute left, I think it was going to penalties, and then this goes and happens. Lambert does actually finish it, and he finishes well. So if you liked this episode, guys, I am actually going to be uploading every three days now with this, with three games on each, so that's going to be quite good. If you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, and favourite. So I'll see you in a bit, guys.